Hi, this is Joe from M Software, where we've been building plugins for Adobe InDesign since, well, since before version one. Our plugins are being used by companies, thousands and thousands of companies across the globe. And today we're going to be having a look at InData, one of our building tools. Whether you need to build catalogs, price lists, signage, brochures, labels, or, or whatever, InData allows you to, with incredible speed and flexibility, build from raw data, finished pages. Let's have a look at how it works. With, with InData, of course, it starts with the data. InData imports a delimited text file. It can be any kind of a delimited file. Usually it's tab, or, tab delimited or comma delimited, a CSV, exported out of a database or saved from a spreadsheet. But you start with a data file, and then you create in your InDesign document a styled example or a prototype of how you want your presentations to look. Here I have a field statement that tells in data, this is the order that the columns are in my data. And then I have styled placeholders laid out the way I want them to be on the page. And you can apply any type of styling to these that you want. Here, for example, I'm gonna go ahead and make my last name a lovely shade of red. And we'll simply say import from file and choose a data file, say open, and in comes all of that content styled however I want it to be. I'll undo that because I want to add an image. In data, within data, you can allow in, you can have any number of images per presentation. Um, they can be regular inline images. They can be custom anchored images. I'll just paste that on in there. And then I have a little bit of code here that says, look in this particular field or look in this particular folder for the images and set the file name to this image this field's content. We'll say import from file, bring in our content, and suddenly we have images being brought in along with our content. You can also have conditionals in there. InData has a built-in scripting language using a simple English-like language that allows you to do really powerful things. Like for example, I want to um, bring in a, a header whenever the department changes. If department's different than the previous department, bring that in. And also, instead of just bringing in my address and phone, because not everybody has one, I'm going to go ahead and say, if the address is empty, bring it. If, if the address is not empty, bring it in. If the phone is not empty, bring it in. It's that simple. So import from file with that code in there. And suddenly, I'm getting a much cleaner layout in my final build. You can have prototypes that are very, very complex or very, very simple. This one's got more of a complex layout because I'm doing a lot more sophisticated styling. Import from file, bring these in. And you can see we have much deeper levels of styling going on in this document. Here's another example. Import from file, choose my data, go. And we have a college course listings. In this example, you can see that we can have headers and footers. You can have page furniture that InData will up update automatically as it builds. And it is building as it comes in. It's adding pages as it goes. Import from file, bring in some content. We have all of our content and our page information on there. In data imports inline into a text flow, but that doesn't mean that you can't have a gridded layout or or more um, a more style layout. Here I have a grid of text frames set up on my document. Show the text threads. You can see the content is threaded through all of those frames. I'll say import from file and my text and image content is flowed right on in. And you can have, this is a very simple layout, you can have more sophisticated layouts as, as you need. Import from file in this one. This one's got a more complex layout.
in this example, which we saw at the very, very beginning, not only do I have a more sophisticated grid set up, I also have multiple master pages set up in my document. And data can apply different master pages depending on conditions in the data so that you can really end up with some pretty amazing pages very quickly and very easily. Finally, InData allows you to add in catalog links. In catalog is another of our plugins. I'll have another video about that. But within catalog, you can update the links. And InData can build in catalog links. So I'll say import from file, bring in my content. And I've got my pages all nice and built. And now I want to update my prices because thing, prices have changed. So I'll simply go to in catalog and say update my document and choose a different data file. And I've got links on all my prices. Click OK. And notice now that all my prices have been changed. I made them all $9.99 so you can see what's going on. Anyway, in data is a very, very powerful tool. If you have pages that you need to build and you don't want to have to build them all manually, check out in data. If you need any help, give us a holler. We're here to help. Thanks for your time today.